In this video, I'll show you how you can add a pause in the middle of speech in 11 Labs, and these methods can work for both version 2 and version 3 models of 11 Labs. So let me show you the first method. The first method is quite simple. You can add something called ellipses, aka just three dots like this one, and these characters together will be recognized as a pause or silent by 11 Labs. So I'm going to generate the speech again, and you'll see that there's going to be a noticeable delay in this section. As she dives deeper into the cave, something unexpected is about to happen. There you go. And by the way, the number of dots will actually affect how long the duration of the pause will be. So if I just write three dots, then the pause is going to be about one second. But if you add, let's say, six or maybe nine dots, it's going to be much, much longer. Let's regenerate the speech again. As she dives deeper into the cave, something unexpected is about to happen. There you go. So that was the first method. The second method is kind of similar. You can use a character called MDAS. You can actually just go to Google and search for MDAS and you'll find this character. It's a long hyphen. Uh, there is actually, there's no keyboard character that you could, you know, there's no dedicated button on a keyboard that allows you to create that. That's usually you need some, you need some shortcut keys, but you can just go to Google search for MDAS and then you will get that character. You can copy it and then paste that into the section that you want to add a pause. And the way it works is similar to ellipses. The more you have the uh, dashes, it's going to be, a, uh, the pause is going to be a longer. So let me just generate speech again and take a listen. As she dives deeper into the cave, something unexpected is about to happen. Okay, there is something here that I need to mention. It is not actually very consistent, even though this is actually one of the uh, some other official ways to add a pause in 11 last, but I find this method to be less consistent than other methods. So I'm going to try it again, and hopefully we can actually notice the delay. As she dives deeper into the cave, something unexpected is about to happen. Yeah, there is almost no pause and that's probably not a great idea to uh, use a second method. But anyway, that's that's still one thing that you can try. The third method is actually by using a syntax that is supported in 11 Labs. The syntax looks something like this. I'm going to just copy and paste it right here. So you have to type this syntax, break time equals to, and then you can write the duration. Uh, it can start from one second up to three seconds maximum. I'm going to type three seconds. Let's generate the speech again, and you'll see the result. As she dives deeper into the cave. One, two, three. Something unexpected is about to happen. There you go. So I think using syntax is probably uh, the best option as because you can specify the length of the pause in the sentence. And again, these methods, the first, second, and third method, will work for version 2 and version 3 models of 11 Labs. But there is another method that only work for version 3, and I would say it's also very simple. Let me just switch to the version 3 model. Now I'm going to replace this with a tag like you can use pause or silent. It's up to you because uh, they will actually do the same thing. Let me just generate the speech, but using this tag and using the version 3 model. It might take quite some time to generate speech because it is a bigger model, but it's usually very good. As she dives deeper into the cave, something unexpected is about to happen. All right, as you can see, you can tell that there is a silent right here in the middle of the sentence, and that's the power of using this silent or pause tag in the version 3 model of 11 Labs. So these are some methods that you can try to have a pause in 11 Labs. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on my next video.